Hey, so today I went and saw where the crawdads had sing. Wait a minute. You went and saw where the crawdads had sing? Yeah. So crawdads can just sing? No, they do not literally sing. But then why is the movie called that? Oh, it's just a saying in the movie. You're not supposed to literally take it as crawdads can sing. That's a bit of a stupid title then. No, but it's just a... Uh... Oh yeah, well, that's he, that's him guy, I suppose. But, uh... anyway, so that's what I think of this movie. It's actually pretty good. Um, like... I know the movie hasn't been getting, like, great reviews or anything. Like, it has, like, 35% of Rotten Tomatoes. Let me just say right now, Rotten Tomatoes is wrong. They are absolutely wrong about this movie. This movie is actually pretty good. Um... Like, it's not a great movie, it's not like, you know, one of my favourite movies of the year or anything, but I actually thought it was a pretty good movie. Um, well, to start things off, the cinematography is pretty good, it's shot well. The pace isn't too bad. I will say this is a pretty long movie. I think about two hours long and uh, yeah, I know some people might feel that run time. I say it might drag for a few people, but it didn't really drag for me, honestly. Um, the sound and music is decent. I'll admit the film has a decent soundtrack. Um, the editing is pretty good, uh, I think the film is edited mostly well, I mean, there's like, it's pretty weird, it's looking burnt, that's why it's being able to but other than that, um, I think it's pretty good. Um, as for the characters, I think that, um, Kaya, the main character of the film, she's really good. I think that she's a really good protagonist. Um, and then there's Nate. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like him at all. Um, like, uh, he just, it's kind of similar to Uncharted in a way. Um, if you guys saw my review of Uncharted, you may remember that one of my biggest problems with the movie was that, um, Sully was kind of a dick to Nate. Yeah, that's funny. There was an Asian in that movie as well. Um, and Nate, you know, was telling Sully that um, once they were completed the mission, that was like they were breaking up, they were done. But then by the end of the movie, he just, Nate just forgave Sully for everything that he did. And I didn't really like that. And uh, yeah, and this way there's something kind of similar to that. And honestly, I just, I just didn't like that at all. Um, then there's, I can't remember his name, but, uh, Harris Dickinson's character. Um, uh, he dies in the movie. Yeah, I may as well just say that. Uh, it's not a spoiler, honestly. They, they, I think they, they bring it up all right. It's a thing in the movie that he's, his character is dead. Um, uh, Chase Andrews, yes, I was saying Chase Andrews, and, uh, 
Yeah, the thing is, Chase, he does appear in a few flashbacks prior to his death. Um, and uh, let me just say that he is an outright douchebag. Uh, like, Kaya, I think Kaya definitely does bring out some of the good in him. But, uh, eventually, Kaya does, uh, learn of Chase's dark side, um, and, yeah, um, you know, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I know this movie is 15A, but, uh, the whole thing about Chase and Kaya and, like, Chase's Dark Souls and stuff, um, I won't really spoil it, but, uh, let's just say I'm actually a little bit surprised that this movie has a 15A rating. Okay, not really, but, like, um, well, actually, no, I can see why it does have 15A rating and not 12A, because, like, yeah, it's definitely one of the more serious topics within the movie, that's all I'll say. But, um... Uh... There's also a few other characters, and, um... They're pretty decent, yeah. Um... Then there's the plot. The plot of this movie is pretty good. Um... Like, um, I think that the film does definitely have an interesting story, and it's executed quite well. This movie actually kind of reminds me of, um, A Time to Kill, uh, the, the movie from the 90s, um, you know, the one with Matthew McConaughey, Samuel Jackson, Sandra Bullock, Kevin Spacey, yeah. And, uh, what's funny is that, um, both movies are based on books, um, but yeah, and this movie definitely does, uh, remind me a bit of A Time to Kill in a few areas, and, uh, yeah, it's a very similar plot, uh, with, like, someone is arrested, and it's, like, accused of a murder, and, like, although they committed the murder, they have a justifiable reason for doing so. Yeah, and um, I actually quite like the way the movie does this. Um, first, I actually like this movie more than A Time to Kill. Not that A Time to Kill is a bad movie or anything. It's okay. It's it's an alright film, but like, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be a film that I'd be a huge fan of. Um, but, uh, yeah, I gotta say, this movie's actually pretty good. And a lot better than Ron Charles is making out to be. As for the narrative structure, I like, uh, I like, I like most of the subplots, like, with Kaya and, like, trying to prove her innocence, um, and, like, uh, her relationship with Chase now it all falls apart, um, as mentioned previously, though, I'm not a huge fan of her subplot with Anais, uh, just the fact that she kind of forgives Anais so easily, it's just kind of a bit crazy, like, like he's nowhere near as bad as Chase, but, uh, I don't know, just Nate kind of, um, he kind of just does something that's kind of a bit unlikable, like, nowhere near the same as one like ability as Chase, but, yeah, um, one thing I'll make, even though the, the plot about Kaya, uh, like, trying to prove innocence is, like, for the most part, decent, like, it's okay, um, I'll admit though, I didn't like how it all kind of ended, um, I'll admit it, I know it just kind of felt like a bit very anti-climatic, um, but just overall, where the cross that thing, while not a great movie, not an amazing film, it's actually pretty good, and it's a much better movie than Ron Smiles is making out to be. So overall, I'm going to give Where the Cross At Sing a 7 out of 10. I'll see you guys next time.
and bye.